Welcome back to this Pokemon Leaf Green walkthrough. In this part we will take on Agatha, the third member of the Elite Four. Agatha is a master of ghost types, but all of her Pokemon are at least part poison type too, since there are only three ghost types in the Kanto decks. Agatha's Pokemon will cause much disruption and trouble for you. Prepare to be confused and put to sleep. Our first Pokemon out is a Gengar at level 54. It has the moves Double Team and Toxic in its moveset and it will surely use Double Team a lot so don't waste too much time with this one. If you have Ghost type moves on your own Pokemon you can use them. Ghost types are actually weak against themselves. I'm going to use Wigglytuff and Psychic to take out most of Agatha's Pokemon. Having a normal type in this battle helps a lot since they are immune to Ghost type moves. Our next Pokemon is Golbat, and you should have plenty of experience finding these from your dealings with Team Rocket. But don't be surprised if you have to use a few full heals to cure any confusion Golbat may put on you. Next Pokemon out is Arbok, and I will keep Raichu on the battlefield and let it take the effects from Intimidate. Remember that Intimidate only activates once, so now I can switch over to Rhydon and use Earthquake to take Arbok out. Sludge Bomb is no threat to Rhydon because Poison type moves are physical, and Rhydon resists such moves with its ground typing and high physical defense. Screech can be a problem, but have your X-Defense ready in such an event. Hunter is not Agatha's most offensive Pokemon, but it is arguably the most annoying. What it will most likely do is use Mean Look, forcing you to stay in the battle, and then use Curse to drain your health. Alternatively, it will use Mean Look, then Hypnosis, followed by Dream Eater. This battle will either be very short or very long, depending on how lucky Hunter is with his moves. Agatha's last Pokemon is another Gengar, but this one is level 58 and is a bit more offensive than its counterpart. What it will probably do is to spam you with either Sludge Bomb or Hypnosis. I have a berry attached to Wigglytuff to avoid that first Hypnosis, and to protect myself from Sludge Bomb I will use Defense Curl. Since this Gengar is a level 58, I will use an X-Special to power up my Psychic attacks. As you can see, now I only have to hit with Psychic twice to knock Gengar out, and that's despite Gengar having a Citrus Berry attached to it.
Heal up your Pokemon, have something with ice type moves ready and head into the room with the final elite 4 member.